What's up Pisces? I'm Chris. Welcome to the house. Now if you guys like this video go ahead and hit subscribe, share it with your friends, comment, like, all that good stuff. Uh, in the description below you'll also find a link to my website where you can book a personal reading, donate to the channel, as well as I also have a new House of Light and Shadow Instagram page. It's been a lot of fun. You can find the link down there below. Go ahead and fo follow me there as well. <clears throat> and Pisces, coming to this reading, I just feel like super plugged in. Like... Like, I feel like you guys have been feeling super psychic lately, like super intuitive, just like, like having spiritual experiences. I think your intuition right now, Pisces, is on overdrive. You know exactly what you need. Last month we talked a little bit about like not forcing things anymore, right? And I feel the same way this month where we're kind of embodying an energy with you guys where we're sort of needing to get out of our own way and we're needing to sort of uh, follow through on what our intuition are telling us. This is Virgo season, right? Uh, starting out, we had the central situation of the magician. So this is Virgo season, right? This is where we take, and this is perfect for you guys. This is exactly where we take uh, the divine in input, the energy that we're getting from source, from spirit. And what do we do? We ground it in reality. And this is just what I was saying with you guys, right? <clears throat> in Virgo season, we put the pedal to the metal. We take all of these things that we've been thinking about that have been floating around in our consciousness our, in our spirituality, our intuition, we make it real. We just had Mars go into uh, v uh, Mars go into Virgo. We have we have Venus going into Virgo today. We have uh, the Sun going into Virgo tomorrow. From when I'm recording this, and guys, this is a time to put things into action. The magician says it's not okay to just idly sit back and get visions and get information and downloads and just sort of think like, who I'm um, just like a, such a fun little hippy dippy uh, plugged in Pisces. Like, no, it's time to actually take that and make it practical. What has what have you been being pushed towards lately? What have you been getting input from that tells you like something here needs to change? That something here is not right? That maybe you've been sort of like holding on to something too long. I feel like there's a need, uh, you know, you guys are the sign that represents death in the zodiac and I feel guys it's just time to sort of let something die. If you can't actually make the steps this month to make it happen, at the very least I feel like there's an acknowledgement and there's an understanding that there are just things that no longer serve you. Guys, this month is a month to like like let energy flow through you, right? So when you're getting these downloads, when you're getting all this intuitive information, but you're not actually acting on it, it just sort of gets like stuck here, right? And this energy right now with the magician needs to flow. It needs to flow to be vibrant. It needs to flow to be like vivacious. Like you're, if you don't let it flow, you're just gonna get stagnant. You're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get a little depressed. You're gonna feel like you don't know the direction you're going in, but it's like Pisces, you know. You know what, you, what needs to be done now. You, you've thought about it long enough. You've, you've sort of meditated on it and reflected on it long enough. Now the, the cards are asking you guys to get serious about something. Get serious about something that needs to happen. Get serious about something that needs to change. In our ideals, uh, Pisces, we have the Hierophant. So again, you guys see yourself as like spiritual masters. You guys see yourself as, again, very plugged in, very connected, very wise, very understanding. Now, looking at this, the hero fan is kind of, he weighs his hand up, he's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up now. You want to be me? You want to get to my level? You want to put this little uh, fancy little hat on your head and call yourself a, a leader? Call yourself a mystic? Call yourself a, an expert? Call yourself someone who's wise and should be imparting wisdom on other people? Like, bitch, what are you doing? The Hierophant marries action with wisdom, right? He he takes he he's the epitome of climbing the ladder. He's the epitome of like moving forward. And you see the way he has a sort of rock uh, opening behind him. Right now, this is the Hierophant is saying you don't get to go through here yet. But you guys want to be there. You want to you want to go to the next level. You want to ascend. But it's like you can't ascend. I don't know why I'm using these like really lofty words on this reading, but you can't do that right now because you're not acting on it. 
right? The Hierophant is like someone who graduates college, for instance, right? You become a master in what you do, you become a master of your craft, but you also have to like put it into action now. So Pisces, my, my big thing for you this month so far is how do you put it into action? How do you start to sort of like uh, uh, live what you know needs to be done? Live your spiritual truth. I think you guys have been resisting. And you can see it there, right? Like he, you can see it just behind him. You can just, it's like almost there. You can grab it. You can touch it. Time to make moves this month, Pisces. Time to act on what you know that you've needed been needing to act on for a long time. Time to trust your instincts. You know, guys, you can't you can't have super strong instincts like if you deny them, right? That's just gonna push it down. That's just going to uh, put you in a place where where you're not going to be as plugged in anymore because to have strong intuition, you have to follow it, you have to act on it. You have to validate to your own mind that it's real, right? You have to validate to your own mind that you believe it so that your mind keeps going in that direction of getting stronger, of getting more plugged in, of getting more in tune. In the past, like guys, nothing's been happening. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I think for a lot of you guys with regards to your career and your home life, like you've just been feeling stagnant. It's like you should feel motion. It's like it's like the, the in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, it feels like you've been growing. It feels like you've been changing. But then like in certain ways when, when you've been looking around your life, it sort of feels like things are kind of the same. Now we need to marry this month, Pisces, the feeling of things changing and the actual physical reality of it because it hasn't been happening. Some of you guys have not been making the moves you know you need to make for your happiness, for your joy, for your pleasure. And it's not necessarily seeming like things have been bad. It's not doesn't necessarily seem like uh, uh, you know like you're you're down and out necessarily or you're hard up, like for money for career stuff like it feels sort of okay but then there's other parts of your life other parts of your material reality that that have not that need to sort of have a little bit of motion put into them right now you see pisces i think this came up last month too we have the world so like you've reached the epitome of what you're going to accomplish the way your life is right now like you just sort of can't keep it going the same way it's boring it's getting stale Right? Like, like you guys are like a mutable sign. You need stimulation. You need movement. You are water. You are the epitome of things flowing. And it's like something is already past time of needing to end. Pisces, think about it. Whatever in your life that you are still sort of like something that's old, that's still there, that like you should be in a different place, you should be in a different level, but you're still there. What feels like overdue for needing to come to an end? Pisces, we have three, three major arcana cards here, which means that like the universe is pushing you to something big right now. The universe is pushing you to be bigger and better and greater. I think that it's like asking you to use your imagination to imagine something that maybe you haven't imagined yet. And like imagine it not just as a fantasy, but as in like a potential reality. You're asking, you're being asked to push, to push your like imagination, to to push yourself into into something that you. Uh, I feel like there's something that you like maybe are hesitant to do, but you need to do. Rounding out uh, the the past here, Pisces, we have the Nine of Wands. Scared uncertain this feels to me like you guys are sort of in a place that's been a little cozy it's a little comfortable but boring <laughs> like like seriously like with pisces with all that exciting energy you guys have i just feel a little bored whatever pisces like that's that's kind of the energy here right now of of maybe how you guys are feeling like a little bleh a little like la di da, a little like going through the motions, which is so boring for you guys. 
The Nine of Wands is like there's just fear is what I feel here. Hesitation. But in doing so, guys, I just feel like you're just getting stagnant. Like, this is a month now to start taking some risks. Like, act on things that you've been wanting to act on. Take a risk. Take a risk that it's going to actually improve your life in the way that you believe it could. Whatever that is for you, like like uh, committing to a relationship or moving somewhere or changing jobs or or like investing in like a project or business or an art, like whatever it is for you personally, of course, this is a general reading, but for, for you watching this, whatever this is for you, where you've just gotten stuck, where you've just gotten comfortable, take a risk, take a risk. Like, gamble right now, Pisces, on your intuition is what I want to say. Gamble on the idea that if you actually act on what you've been thinking about acting on, it's going to turn out really, really fucking well. Trying to, trying to cut back on this swearing, I'm sorry, but... Pisces, our turning point is justice. So what this feels like is, like, you're not going to get a chance. Like, like, if you don't do it, like, the universe is going to do it for you. Like, and I just feel like what this is saying here with justice is like, you're getting cues, you're getting signals, you're getting like input, you're getting downloads. I just heard my front door open. Um, and then close. Um, Pisces, but it's like you're getting downloads. You're being told what course to go on right you know it's like uh joseph campbell says follow your bliss right that's all we have in life to tell us what we're supposed to be doing where we're supposed to be going and justice is here saying bitch do it like right now the way she's holding that sword it's almost like a whip like just go like go like a horse like smacking a horse to just go Trying too long to be balanced, uh, trying for too long to be balanced, trying to for too long to have like an even like, perspective. The energy here so far, Pisces, is like action, action. Making things a reality for yourself. Making your dreams a reality for yourself. You don't have all these fantasies and all these ideas, Pisces, for no reason. Right? It's for a reason. It's because it's, it's again, something that's being told to you to go. Going into the future here in September, Pisces, we have the Ace of Swords. First of all, there's fucking victory and success. If you need validation that acting on these things is going to bring you success, then it's going to bring you success. With the Ace of Swords, we're winning. We're trying something new and we're doing it really well and we're good at it. Pisces, this is again also a call to start to start something brand new. People always emphasize this card as like something being needs to be cut off. And sure, there's sort of that energy, right? But it's more about what you're filling your life with, right? That's exactly what we talked about last month. Like not being afraid of letting go of what was because what's coming your way when you do that is so much better than you could have imagined. This is using your head. This is like trusting your intuition, trusting your, your mind, trusting that you know what's right for you. Isn't it funny how sometimes in life, like, we sort of start losing track of what's right for us. Like for us personally, we take in so much input about, uh, you know, what other people think or what I should feel. And like this, this, this reading is just saying like, you need to trust what's right for you. Like Pisces, you know what you need right now. You know what you need to do for yourself. And the Ace of Swords again is saying, if you act on it, you will have success. You will have victory. You will triumph. You will find, you will be validated that you did the right thing.
here we have uh, the last quarter moon. This is telling us, guys, it's sort of time to start moving away from things, right? I think in September is now where we start to release what was. And going into the rest of the year, we sort of like are, are pre preparing ourselves, Pisces, to start over. To start fresh, to start new. We are letting go big time of what hasn't been working. We're letting go big time of sadness and depression. Like if you guys have been feeling a little down, it's because it's because of this. It's because of this. It's because you're not doing what you need to do. Again, you guys are a, a, a sign of flow. And when it gets backed up, it's like just ill. You know, like stagnant water it gets like gunky. Like like your feelings might be all over the place. Like you might not. Feel like you know which way is up but you ever have those experiences where like you think you don't know what you want but you really do and the thing is you're just like kind of denying it or kind of looking for alternatives right you know you need to make that move but like you feel confused because like you don't really uh you're looking for other other anything else but that because you're you're afraid because you're resisting what needs to be done Tuh. Pisces, rounding out the reading with the Ace of Wands, trusting your passions, like Pisces, this is going in the direction of your bliss, you guys have so much newness and so much opportunity available to you this month, like Pisces, you have to be brand new, you're going to be brand new, there are opportunities this month Pisces that are just going to present themselves to you. There are going to be moments, like to me, with these two cards, these are like moments of epiphany, moments of revelation, moments of like something synchronizing in a, in a, like I feel big spiritual energy in your life this month, Pisces, like something's happening like that seem like coincidences, but are, but are big opportunities for you to move forward. It's almost as if like the universe is saying here, oh, you didn't get it. Oh, okay. Here again. Are, are you still gonna not are you still gonna not listen signs 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 opportunities blessings like like this month Pisces keep your eyes open to signs listen to conversations like there there are things that are just going to come up that are going to give you clues that are going to be pushing you bottom of the deck ace of cups Guys, three aces in one reading. It's time to be brand new. That's what I said from the beginning about there's like deaths that are necessary. There are things that like are have come to a close that you just need to accept are done. This part of your life is done. This identity you've had, uh, this lifestyle you've had, these things are done. So you guys had a, a newness of emotion, right? Maybe some connection to loved ones. Maybe a new relationship, right? Like sort of like good feelings in certain ways. But now that was the past. That's where what led that's what led us to the point we're at now. Dropping cards. But now this energy, this air energy, and this fire energy says to put things into motion. Now it's time to act. Now it's not time to feel. We felt long enough. We've, you've sized it up, you've, you've uh, thought about it long enough, you've contemplated long enough, you've considered long enough. And this doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to change right away, right? Because of course this is card of timing, right? And we're only halfway there. But I think September, guys, is the month, like I said in the beginning, where if things don't uh, change now, there's like plans to, right? Have, if like your dreams have been pushing you in a certain direction, right? If like just like it feels again like just so plugged into the subconscious and so plugged into the universe Pisces that you, you just need to go. Outcome for the month is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So one of the things this tells me is that there's a sense of Im uh, imbalance, right? There's a sense of uh, a lack of stability, which is good because I think that this is going to push you forward. Right? This is the sort of thing that, that, that where you like feel dissatisfied 
and it sucks and the feelings aren't great, but like now that means that you have to do something about it. But what this says also, Pisces, is that I think you have to start making decisions based on purely what you want. This is about not considering other people right now. Not to be an asshole, right? But like, you have to think about what's best for you. Right? That's what I said before. Like, what is right for you? It's not going to be what's right for everybody. It's not going to be what's right for uh, uh, everything, right? If you, ha if you have to leave a relationship, that person is going to be sad. If you have to leave a job, they might miss you because you're really good. And you know, like, like there are going to be things that are going to, like, there's collateral damage in acting in your own behalf. But I think what's happening, Pisces, right now is, like, you have to. You have to act on your own behalf. You're, 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 you're experiencing potential for renewal. And the only thing that's going to stop you from renewing is yourself. Is fear. Of fear what's on the other side. Of fear that you're going to make the wrong decisions. Comfiness. Like sitting too long in comfiness. This is a month to take risks. This is a month to put yourself out there. This is a month to make like radical plans. To pursue radical things. But it's not that radical, right? Because it's like things that you've already wanted to do. It's things that you've already started thinking about. It's things that you've been considering for mad long. All right, we're gonna pull an Oracle card here for one last bit of advice uh, from Spirit uh, going forward into this month. <laughs> so this fell right next to this, right next to this. So usually swords we look at as like conflict and stuff, but this is like action to me. Here we have the card of individuation. What I've been saying this whole time to you guys, Pisces, is that you need to act on your own behalf. Individuation says there's no one who is like you. There is nobody who has the same life you do. There's nobody who has the same uh, world view. There's nobody who has the same needs. So this is like pull that sword from the stone. Make moves to embody like your truest self. Stop talking yourself out of things. Stop second guessing things. You know, Pisces, and that's all I can say here, right? You know what you need to do. You know what's best for you. And the, the energy this month is going to push you into making that happen. And it's going to be scary. It's going to feel like you're taking big risks. But in a way, they're not really risks because you already know that it's going to work out well. And that you're going to be standing in your truth and you're going to be standing in your reality and you're going to be super strong for it and super happy for it. Some tough transition, maybe, right? Some, some little uncomfortable feeling, sure. But we're big boys and girls now, right? Anything, anytime change happens, we have to just get comfortable with it. All right, Pisces, I love you so much. You have a great month. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.